Hello, this is the headlining news across the East African region from Tanzania. At least 20 international companies are lining up to grab the opportunity to smelt Tanzania's gold. Following the 2017 ban on exporting raw material gold ore, by President Pome Magufuli, several companies have applied to build smelters in Tanzania. From Kenya, the Supreme Court of Kenya has ruled that schools reserve the right to determine the uniform that students wear. This follows lengthy battles in all lower courts about religious leaning dressing, like the Muslim hijab for schoolgirls. Now every school will have the right to allow or disallow certain dressing with its uniform. From Uganda, Uganda Parliament recognizes a 22-year-old lady for her beauty. Queen Abenacho, who emerged as second runner-up in the recently concluded Miss World Beauty pageant in China, making her Miss Africa. As well, she champions the cause of the girl child with emphasis on mitigating teenage pregnancies. Lastly, from South Sudan, South Sudan has come out to strongly express support for the embattled northern neighboring president Omar Bashir. The two countries' oil minister jumped over a slaughtered bull in Juba in a traditional ceremony to emphasize their solidarity. South Sudan oil minister Ezekiel Lu Gatkoth told Reuters that the two countries are intertwined like Siamese twins and must cooperate. South Sudan needs the northern neighboring infrastructure for its oil to flow to export markets. And that was the headlining news across the East African region.